Welcome back everyone, <laughs> Devilin here. Today's video is actually the new update for Rogue Heroes Ruins of Tassos, Druids and Dungeons and for my luck I still have the old uh, file that I started last year with all the status and weapons from the original version all maxed out completely. We also have a new class called Druid. He has the ability to transform into different types of animals like a squirrel and a snake. These you're gonna earn them in side quests, which I'll get to that in, a, in the next video. So join me as I explore the new side quests and new bosses and new dungeons that were blocked from the, from the original version like the mines and the skull island. Those were blocked but now are open to explore. And and if this video, in our first video, is we're gonna actually get the Druid uh, threat so we can take it to Margaret in the town and she can make us a new magic tunic. So this video is gonna focus on that specific dungeon. And if this video actually helped you out guys and you wanna support my channel, like, comment, and subscribe for future side quest videos here on my channel. I'm gonna go explore the dungeon mines that is now available. This place has a good amount of money to get here, more than 15,000 gems of diamonds you can get in your first run if you farm every room. Now the items you will need are the following for this dungeon to complete it. You're going to need a hammer or the glove to break rocks from the walls, the hook shot, and finally a long range weapon. It can be the crossbow or the fire one. The fire one is very more recommended for later uses. Mostly because to get the money you need to farm the walls and solve a few puzzles you need to have the long range items also so you can complete them. Enemies here are spiders that will shoot web and trap you and then they will attack you. Skeletons that will throw sometimes dynamite sticks and they will really actually damage you. A few rats and bats and a few spellcaster mages. This whole mine is filled with TNT barrels, so if you hit them, they're gonna explode, and sometimes they can explode in a chain. So be careful when you're hitting an enemy, you don't hit a barrel to activate that, and it's gonna gotta run away, or else it's gonna damage you. As always, like I mentioned before, if this video helped you out, please make sure to support my channel by subscribing or share this video with your friends. This dungeon has three floors. There are three hidden statues. You must press one of them, in each floor till the light lights up. So when you get to the third floor, the boss room will open. I have already activated the switches, so I don't need to press them again, but I will show you the location of each one. Along the way, I'll be solving a few puzzles, a few hidden treasure chests, so you can get some damage buffs a little bit.
a short version exploring this dungeon, so it wouldn't take much of everyone's time. But still, share every law, every room, every secret this dungeon has to offer. All right, everyone, time for some helpful boss tips. The new boss is called Mega Rank not or something it's a big spider that covers almost 70 percent of the room he is very slow he moves his move sets are the following he will sometimes rush at you very slow so always try to stay in the middle that way you can move to one side to avoid him he will sometimes summon other spiders get rid of them as fast as possible watch out for their spider webs if they trap you they will rush you and hit you I found that the fire one works great on them since it locks onto them as you damage them. His other attack, he will spill out poison gas clouds. They move very slow so you can avoid them. You can avoid them, there's always like a space between the, the clouds so you can just move around them. Also don't stay too close to the walls and sometimes gas shots may hit from them. And last and most important. This boss will spit out multiple webs on the ground. Slash them sometimes to reveal a lever or a switch. If you press it, you can drop down the wooden spikes on top of the spider in the cave entrance. Make sure the spider is always in the cave entrance. That way she will be helpless. This is the only time you can deal real good amount of damage because if you try to hit her Without her being trapped in the spikes, you're not going to do really not enough damage. You're going to say, what, what the hell? Why am I only doing like 10 or 20% uh, of damage? But when I when, but when but when she's trapped in the spikes, you're going to start dealing the real good damage. So always make sure to attack her when she's trapped in the spikes. I managed to clear this boss with, with no boss damage.
All right, everyone, after the boss, we're just going to explore a, a new small area that was still hidden within the clouds from the previous version. Now you're gonna have that, those clouds disappear and inside one of the houses will be the treasure chest where the druid thread lies. All you gotta do now is get back to town, take it to Margaret, the old lady, and there you will have a new class available. This class is pretty fast, like the hero class, good amount all around stats, but you can transform into different types of animals. It all depends on if you do the side quest to unlock those medallions so he can transform, whether it's a bird or a snake or something that can swim on in the water, etc. This will help you explore more, a little bit more faster. All right, everyone, this is David in 05 signing off. Hope this video actually helped you out. Awesome, you made it to the end of the video. If you'd like to see more gaming and manga videos, please make sure to subscribe and have a great day.